Um, this is lead code problem 704, binary search. Um, and the problem is given a sorted array in ascending order um, and a target value. Write a function that will return the index that matches the target value. Uh, and if you can't find the target value, then you can return negative one. So for example, the input here is this array that we're given. The target value is nine and the output is four because index zero is negative one, index zero is, index one is zero, index two is the value of three, index 3 is the value of 5, and index 4 is the value of 9, which is the target, and so we're returning 4. Um, here we're returning negative 1 because the target is 2, and after searching through this array, there's no value that is 2, so the output is negative 1. So drawing up the plan here, um, when given an array, that is in order, any kind of order, either ascending or descending. Um, you have to use binary search because it has a better um, complexity analysis than um, just searching one by one from left to right. So we'll use binary search. Um, that has a complexity of O log N as opposed to N. Um, so for our plan, um, first what we're going to do is just return a negative one. Um, Target is not found. Um, second, we're going to loop through array while our left index is less than our right index. Three. Uh, we're going to, while we're in the loop, each time we're going to calculate our middle index and four. Next, we're going to do one of three things with our middle index value. And that would be one. We're either going to um, If the value is target, we're going to return it. Um, two, if the value is less than target, we're going to set right index um, to be mid minus one. And third, or the third thing we might do, is we're going to set the left index to mid plus one. And we're going to be one of these, doing one of these three things, and also this, while the left index is less than the right index. Um, So we're only going to need... So this is a little illustration of what the binary search is going to look like. We have this blue arrow 
is representing the left index with a value of 0. This right arrow is representing the right cursor with a value of 5. So according to the steps that we drew up, the next thing we're going to be doing is calculating the middle index value. Um, and these numbers here are the array that we're given in the first sample, and these are the index values in the array. So these are the values, and these are the indexes. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the mid-index value as we loop through this array. So we calculate the mid-index by using the left index value plus the left minus right divided by 2. And the reason that we do this is because if you don't calculate the mid this way, um, the value of the int might overflow and go into a negative value and you could get the wrong value for your int. So I'm going to post in the bottom of the video uh, write-up of why this is, but for now this is an important thing to remember how to calculate mid index value in a binary search. And here we have 5 divided by 2, and in Java when you have any remainder, when you are dividing integers, it's just ignored. So we are left with a mid index value of 2. So now we have our left value, our right value, and our mid value, and we're going to do one of three things. If the target value, which is 9, is the value of the mid index, if, if, nine is, if, if this is 9, we're going to just return 2. If the target value is less than the value of the mid index, so the target value is 9, it is not less than 3. So we're going to do this third thing. We're going to make our left value the mid value plus 1. And now our loop is going to continue. So mid plus 1 is index 3. Our right is left at index 5. So now we're going to stop, start it again at the top of the loop and calculate mid. So the mid is left plus left minus right divided by 2, which gives us 4. And then we have our three steps here. So if the target value is the value of the mid index, so our target value is 9, and the value of 4, index 4, is also 9. So we are going to return index, we are going to return 4. Um, we're going to ignore the rest of these steps in this case. And that is the illustration. Now we're going to go on to coding. Okay, so now is the coding part, and we're not going to need many things. Um, one thing we're going to need is a right index, which is going to be the length of the array in the parameter. Minus 1, because it's um, 0 based. And we're going to need our left. I'm sorry, we need our left index, which is going to just start off at 0. And we're also going to need our mid, which is going to be defined every time in our loop. So our loop is just while our left is less than or equal to our right index. 
and now we're going to calculate our mid. So mid is going to equal left plus right minus left uh, divided by 2. And again, this is kind of the most important part to memorize, uh, to know how to calculate that. And the reason why it has to be calculated like this is because if the input is large enough, there's going to be an overflow, and then this is going to calculate into a negative number. So, and then you'll get a, an error. I'm going to, again, I'm going to attach the document um, that describes this bug in the description of this video. Um, but for now, uh, according to our steps, the first there's three things that we could do. Um, if the target is equal to our current value of this mid index, we're going to just return this mid index. If the target is less than this value in this mid index, we are going to set the right index to be what the mid is minus one. And there's only one other case, so else what we're going to do is set the left index to be mid plus one. And if we make it all the way through this while loop and we haven't returned our mid, we are just going to return a negative one. And the reason we do that is because in this instructions here it says return its index, otherwise return a negative one. And that should work. Um, so another thing that you could do based on that paper is um, instead of defining mid as left plus right minus left divided by 2, you can define mid as left plus right, and you can do um, a bit shift to 1. And you can see if you run this, this actually beats 100% of Java. So that's something else you might want to do. Um, but I would also look into why this works. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, and that's it. Thank you.